Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome back to Fortress Craft. Tango here, and I, I have been busy. As you can see, I, I kind of made up for my, my little, my little mistake last episode. <laughs> okay, okay, my colossal mistake last episode that I didn't calculate my combobulators and things didn't meet up, and I, I've taken care of that. I had to move. I had to tear down all the walls I made, and I moved them all back four blocks. And things meet up now. I got the little archways in just to verify there, and it's looking great. I love it. So the room is like eight blocks bigger on each side river, which is fantastic. I think the spacing is it's just going to make that much of a difference. It's not going to be crowded in here. And I've been doing some thinking, and I got some plans, and I can't wait to get to them. But, yeah, let me show you. We got all the sides done here. We got the, the red crates in here that I was talking about last episode. Now, the reason I couldn't uh, build them last episode was apparently you have to actually build the red canvas first. A couple of you guys pointed out to me in the comments, and I do appreciate that. Once you build the red canvas, then it unlocks that unknown element is the red canvas, I think, so, and then it's just, it's available. So we're good there. So all of this now is all linked together, and you can see I got seven left there. My plan now is uh, they're all going to be merged into one. I'm not sure what the maximum capacity is on storage crates uh, as far as, like, how big the inventory will get here on the side. But I know it's, it adds a little scroll bar to it once it gets big enough. So from there, I'm not going to run the red across the doorway. I'm going to have it like go underneath. So under here, I've been doing a little bit of digging as well, kind of prepping. I just dug all this space out, and it, it'll probably be a lot more. But I've got a good starter here for a lot of the stuff I want to hide underneath, which is going to be kind of one of the goals moving forward is some of the nonsense that you don't need to see will be under the, under the floorboard. But again, the uh, the red crates here are going to go under the floorboard too, kind of like a under here and then pick up over here so they'll all be connected so I can just go to whatever side I want give a little uh -uh, pick up what I need doesn't matter where I go I love it uh, the arches yeah I want to work on these I want to work on these and try and do some stuff in between here. I'll probably do a couple little things uh, coming up in a bit and show you guys and see what you think and stuff the lights that we had last episode still not powered by anything except manual oomph uh, but they've been raised up quite a bit and it makes a big difference real big difference um, so yeah, I like that. I like that. And once you get them all four lit, and they're all going to be automated and everything, it's going to be just the right amount of light in here, I think. It's still a little bright, but I'm okay with it. Like, that's... It's kind of bright, but I may... Some of you guys were saying now, too. So, here, let me show you this. <laughs> I'm all over the place. Sorry, guys. Some of you guys were saying, now, you can paint lights. And that's what I'm going to do here, okay? So I'm going to pick a color here, and we'll just say, like, give me a red light, and then I can click on this. Boom. And it makes, like, a red light. You can see the light here on the surrounding area is really colored. So I'm gonna probably play with that eventually. Like I think, uh, let me see here. No, I'm thinking of actually putting lights, pick them up like up here. And I think at nighttime I was playing with this. Like if I, ah, aiming is failure. I think if I put them up in here, it's gonna like draw a lot of attention to the top borders of the windows there, which I really like. So I may do that and then I may play with the colors on that or something. Maybe do a little bit of red to it. I don't know, but a lot of really cool stuff you can do with lighting techniques there. Uh, so yeah, what else? Oh, and I was saying that because a lot of you guys were saying to colorize those lights, but you can't. Unfortunately, it's like, no, nothing, nothing changes, unfortunately. Uh, so I'm going to have to put that in as a request, I think, because I want that. Then there was the other thing that you guys were pointing out, that when I put my floor in, I had covered up this guy here. Which I wasn't too concerned with until I stopped and thought about it, that there was a lot of ore on the track already. So all that ore, the Minox started spawning down there because there was no power for the guns to shoot them. The ore that was on the track just slowly started feeding them. Yeah. We kind of have a little growth over here on our hands. <laughs> so for those of you that don't know, and I explained this a while back, this used to be a whole lot smaller. Uh, the Minox, when they eat the ore on your conveyor lines, like every little bit, they feed their hive and the hive gets bigger. So, we've got a big hive here now. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty close to getting explosives, I think. So, I just need, like, the crystal deposits, which we may get this episode. If not, it'll be real soon. But I need to blow that thing up, because that's ugly, and it's starting to encroach on my style. I mean, I got time for that. So, we're going to blow him up soon. That might be fun. Uh, what else? Oh, this wall here. I got so much on my mind, guys. <laughs> Hang in there. This wall here, I've got some pretty serious plans for making an auto smelter and really cool storage system we may get to that today i'm not sure what the ordering is going to be but we may do that today uh short term though we're going to start picking up a lot of these things that are disconnected and now broken and remaking them within the new building but 
First things first, I want to do a little building and see if I can play with these curves here and get something I like. It's probably going to be mostly glass, but uh, let's see what happens. And then maybe we'll automate these lights and get a power source up there. Go! All right, just finishing up the last little sample here. Boom. Boom. There we go. All right, let's see what they look like. Got three different versions here. Two are kind of similar. This was the first one I did, which was all glass. And... Immediately, I didn't really like it. I like the openness of it, and the glass is okay, but the fact that these supports go up and then just stop felt weird. So then my next little, my next pass was this one here, just carry the supports all the way up, and I think I like that one a lot better. I'm probably going to go with that one. And then just now, I was like, well, that feels like a lot of vertical there, but I was trying to get like something in the middle, and I was entertaining the idea of putting little cross beams or something here. Maybe actually, maybe I'll do one there too. Let's see. So nice building with this tool. Yeah, that's not bad, actually. I don't know. So what do you guys think? We'll say option one is the glass. Option two is that one. And option three is this one. Leave a comment. Let me know which one you like. I think I'm leaning toward option two here. It has enough with the bringing the reinforced wood on the sides, which I like. But this is feeling a little bit too busy. But I'm not sure. And maybe there's something else. Maybe there's option four. I don't know. If you got an option four, let me know. <laughs> we'll try it. But, all right, I'm going to go ahead for now and do this one, option two. But leave a comment with your thoughts on which ones you like best. I'd like to hear. And I added the lights here, too. Actually, let's, let's play with this now. Let's play with putting a little color in here. I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> ah, maybe I'll mute that out. Maybe not. <laughs> all right. Got a little bit of a red light. And we'll go there and there. I don't want to go too much, but I don't want too dark either. Let's try different samples here. Let's try a... If we go more red, but bring some of the... And then you start getting orange and stuff. Yeah, I don't like that. So let's try this one. We'll see. No. Left click. Do you even notice the difference? Yeah, that one's too dark. They're both kind of too dark. I think I just like the white the best, honestly. Yeah, I think I like the white the best. And do that. Hit the white. Go. And paint those guys back. Yeah. Yep, just straight up white. Unless, like, a toned down, like a little bit of gray. Just so it's not so bright. Hmm. Don't even really notice the difference. Don't even really notice the difference. Let's go full white here and do that one. And yeah, those are full white. Okay. I really can't tell the difference. Lights. Lights going out. Ah, oh, man, I got to automate this. I'm going to do that now, too. All right, let me finish up. I think I'm going to do everything with this model here on all the sides. And then I'm going to leave the corners here because I want to think about that. And then the middle here where everything meets. You see, I got the reinforced stone there. So there'll be a nice little square here. I got some ideas. I might take, well, but we'll talk about that after this clip. Let me get busy and do some building. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is turning out a lot better than I thought it was going to. Nice. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Little little cinematic mode here. Making you dizzy. <laughs> Let me switch over to crazy mode. Okay, here we go. I like it. I like it. I took out all that middle garbage. Uh, yeah, I think probably next episode or the one after, we're going to make, we're going to do something in the middle here and make something really really tall. I'm not sure what yet, though. But we're going to have some fun there. But I like this. I haven't done anything with the corners yet, and I haven't moved these guns. These guns are going to go out. Uh, there's going to be a, you know, a semi-circle or a quarter circle between these right here, and then the guns are going to sit on the top of those, like protecting the the exterior out there. Really liking this, though. This wall, though, I didn't do, okay? I didn't do this wall here. I'm calling this the back wall. For some reason, I feel like this is the front. Probably because the crash site was out there. Uh, but that wall I didn't do because I think I have plans for this wall and I'm going to end up tearing this wall down anyways. But we'll get into that in just a second. But what do you think? Do you like it? I got the lights hooked up up there. Let me, let me shoot up there and show you what's going on. Ugh. You can see I got a little, uh, what do you call it? Uh, generator there, beaming the power up, beaming over, and then into some storage blocks and stuff, the power storage blocks on, on top of each lamp there. So each one will be uh, permanently powered now, and I got a little hopper right here. This is my, uh, this is where I put the coal in to fill the system up, you know, in case, uh, in case I run out or whatever. And that actually gives me a little excuse to play with a new feature they've added. 
Now this is in, some of you guys say like, I have features that you don't have for those of you playing. Uh, that's because I'm playing the Bleeding Edge. If you go into Steam and you like right click on properties and then go to like beta tab or something, you can change which mode of the game you want to play. And there's one there called Bleeding Edge and that's like what he did yesterday, basically. He just pushes it to there. It's very, you know, it's not stable. I recommend backing up your world. I back up my world before every episode. Uh, but you get all the new features as they come out, and, uh, and a couple of you guys were pointing out the Bloom feature. You can bring up the console here, and you can see I've been playing with it, but I actually have it turned off right now. If I turn it on, you can see, like, some of the things start to glow a little bit more, and then you turn it off, and things turn off. It's, it's subtle. Uh, overall, I think the, the lighting in the game is still too intense, but... Is this okay in here lighting wise? I feel like it's a little bit too bright still maybe. I might need to raise the lights a little bit more. Uh, but for now I'm going to leave it unless there's a lot of complaining. But I feel like it is a little bright. But anyway, recipes. Here's some stuff they added. Check it out. They've got emergency sirens, red warning lights, warning strobes, and orange warning lights. And now these are all basically, as you can see, attached to any power consuming machine for... Oh, is it just power consuming? Oh man, I was hoping I could put it on like a hopper when it would tell me when the hopper was out. Well, anyways, attached to any power consuming machine for an audio warning if out of power. I suppose, let's see here. <laughs> this is cool. Let me do a red research light here. I don't know where they're going to be. Don't know, don't know. Are they going to be there? Nope. Nope. Come on, where are they? Uh, I guess I could just do, uh, what is it? Red? No. What was it? Warning? What did I just make? <laughs> Strobe? Oh, is it in, is it in my personal crafting thing? I hate this. Hate this. Uh, red. No? I'm not very smart. What is the thing I just made? Where did it go? Red warning light. Why did that not show up when I did red? Are you serious? It's case, in, it's case sensitive? Red. Oh, now it shows up. I don't know. I don't know what I did, but anyway, let's pull the red warning light. Easy, uh, ruby crystal, you hate me! Urgh. We won't be building a red... I don't think I have any crystals. Let me see. Let me check my storage over here. Uh, none there. Do I have any in this one? Mm, I don't think so. No? No, doesn't look like I have any red crystals. Maybe if I find one, I'll make a red strobe light. But anyways, you can hook them up to power. Things that obviously consume power, so... I guess I could put it like on that guy up there, and then when, if I forget to fill this up, it'll be like, which will be kind of cool. I think I like that idea. Uh, but alright, here we go. The big reveal of what I want to do in the back here, okay? This wall here is probably, it's going to stay roughly where it is, but like some of the glass and stuff is going to come out. Because I want to make this wall be essentially what this auto smelting and storage stuff is doing right now. So, here's the idea now. I want to do, like, let's see. Well, anyways, you see we got three sections here. Tier 1, Tier 2, Tier 3, and maybe if there's Tier 4 someday, I don't know what I'll do. But I want to separate each section here between the wooden beams for the tiers of ore. Now, there are four tiers in each. So, they got four ores in Tier 1 three here, but then there's also crystal deposits, which I need to start gathering too. So I think there's kind of four there. So the idea here now is I'm going to do like this and get some conveyor lines going up. And I'm going to go through the effort, I think. And I know it's going to be more costly and everything, but I'm going to have a separate conveyor line for every resource. I need to seriously upgrade my whole resource gathering game and stuff. And we're going to be doing that probably in the upcoming episodes. Uh, but what I want is this to visually see all the ores coming up for just a little bit here maybe to like that height okay and then at that height let's see how so they'll be coming right out of the floor here let me rotate these just so you can get the idea so again a lot of them possibly some of the sorting or just organization will happen b uh, below the floorboards there and then they're going to come up here and then up here let's see Try kind of making some of this up as I go here, but like I'll put hoppers here and then in the back now like back here Is gonna be a smelting system, okay? And it's all gonna be one wide tileable so I can put these guys right next to each other But come up to this conveyor system here and then probably something like You know pull out of that hopper there go into a smelting system and then when it's done Let's see 
How do I want to do this? I probably want to skip a block and go up one. And then from here... Got crazy ideas. Bear with me in just a second here. Like... If I do that, and then this, and then that. Craziness is happening. Craziness... Ah, yeah. Let's see. I'll go right there. There. And maybe there? It'll get the point across to tell you what I'm, I'm what I'm thinking. So the ore comes up, right? This will be like lithium right here. Up here into the hopper, and then it'll go back into the smelter. And when it's done in the auto smelter, it's going to go into this hopper here. And these three are going to be like the tail end of my, uh, my, what do you call it? My automatic storage system uh, holding just lithium. So I can come in here, obviously monitor how the lithium's doing. Make sure I'm still actively get it, getting it. I can obviously monitor this hopper here to make sure that there's some queued up to be... Uh, smelted, but then most importantly, I can just like come by here, and if I need some lithium, I can just like hold Q and go blah, 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 and like kind of just roll my cursor up those guys. I don't know how many I'll go. Maybe I'll follow the co the contour of the ceiling there. Maybe these guys will go way up and stuff. So maybe there'll be hoppers all along here, and each column will be a different resource. And I'm kind of like, a, and that's to say, you know, nothing's to say I can't move the storage back here too. I want the storage to be big for each one. You know, probably at least. 15 hoppers or so for each one. I know some of you guys who are super advanced in the game are probably going to laugh at that and say that's not big. Uh, but for me, that'd be big right now. That would be huge. Uh, so I like that. And I might... I don't, I don't know. I'm going to have to play with the details here. But what I want to do right now, I think, is get some of those guys coming up and over. Maybe I can get all my tier ones actually set up here. And maybe we can actually... Yeah, we'll take out these smelters here. Oh, I can't move these guys because I don't have my... Uh, yeah. Yep. Uh, remember when we placed these and we wanted to be super sure? Yeah. Fail. All right. Well, I'm going to have to make more of those guys or, or get to the tier two gun. There's a tier two build gun, which I think requires metal alloys or something. A couple of guys are saying. But that requires experiment. I got to up all kinds of stuff. Yeah. This, I got plans for all this too. I'll go into that in a second. That's going to be on this wall. Uh, but alright, let me get some of the tracks in maybe and play with this and see what I can come up with and see how it feels and we'll get back to you. Alright, here we go. I got the plan refined a little bit more here. That needs to go that way. Okay. <laughs> I raised these up a little bit, put the first hopper right there again. That'll be the ore coming in there. And I carried this, the reinforced stone uh, bricks or whatever they are across there to kind of keep with the pattern. So it'll still look like the wall kind of fits. Took out the glass, put uh, reinforced wood behind everything, and then the hoppers, I got pointing kind of like sideways, which I like like that, because you're kind of looking up at them. Uh, I got those following the same contour, and I'll probably go up another one or two, maybe, I don't know, maybe even go all the way up there, we'll see. Uh, following the contour, so they're going to fit right, really well with this, and look like they're really part of the wall, I like it. Uh, yeah, so it's going to go up there, and then store all in there is going to be the bar, so like that is my tin line, I'm going to do copper, tin, iron and lithium right there now over here is a rough <laughs> outline of how i want to do this uh it's better over here you can see a little more light it's probably not the most efficient and there's probably better ways of doing it but this right here will be the kind of exterior so you see i got like three two and then one 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 and then maybe two two up there so here's the three and the two and then after that going once is easy i just put a a conveyor on top going into the next hopper but Here's the... Uh, 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 I have no idea if this is going to work or not. Uh, but this is the input line right here, okay? And I'll put my uh, conveyor... Actually, probably this block right here is going to be the smelter. So the input line will go under there into that smelter. When it comes out of the smelter, it'll go up into there. So I'll have one, two, three, four storage chests that are not visible. So I'll have to wait for those to fill up. But they're going to fill up later because obviously anything that goes in there... It's just going to immediately be pulled out. So it should mostly fill from top to bottom. Uh, and then these will be like the last ones to fill. And then maybe I can put some kind of... I still want like a warning system. I want like a warning system on this guy. Like when this guy fills up, that's when I need to like turn a light on or something and say, hey, your storage is full. Your system is backing up. Go check it out. Uh, but that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put that in there now and get... I built one... Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There it is, ore smelter. I got a regular, uh, you know, full-scale ore smelter, one of these guys. Uh, and I think I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to get the whole line in there for tin and see how it works. See how it works. Let's go. <laughs> okay, here we go. I'm ready to try this out here. 
So I moved this line back a little bit because this hopper couldn't be next to that conveyor. It was going to pull the items out. Uh, so instead, I put my power source down there, or the power block down there below the uh, smelter. Now, again, there's going to be like two systems here, then a space, and then two more. So what I'm eventually going to do, and I can actually just put these in right now. So there'll be a smelting system there. That'll be a blank gap. So I'll just carry the power with another power block there. And then there'll be two more. So that should line up with... Did I do it right? How's that going to be? Uh, no, that's one too many. Oh, because there's that... Oh, no. That line's over there. That's not the end one. <laughs> oh, yeah. Messed it up again. Anyway, I'll do that one. I'll, I'll fix it off camera. We're ready to go here. I got a hopper here. And I'm going to put some coal in here. And I think... Should start going up the line into a hopper there. So I'm powering that hole. It's hard to see. I know. The angle is weird. Get up there. Get up there. I'm powering this generator here, which should start powering these blocks here. Yep, they're getting power. And it should power the smelter. And the smelter is getting power. Heating up. I hope it's enough. It probably won't. I really don't think that one power thermal generator or whatever they're called there is going to power all those smelters i know i'll have to have better power probably get a couple smelters in the back here i don't know i'll, I'll worry about power once i get the whole kind of array in there but once that guy heats up how are we doing here is he smelting it no temperature's not going up. okay i guess it's going up all right it just seems to be coming down too because oh because all the power is going into these blocks that's why. Let me just fill these blocks up. That'll help this. It eventually it'll get here. Ugh. Constantly falling down in this game. Alright. Fill these guys up. That one should lose power quick, but that's okay. Because he's just going to get filled right back up. Let me hop back up there. I'm waiting to see if the items leave. The smelter now. Once Okay, so he's cooking. I doubt that's the first one. Let's see. Tin bar's leaving. Tin bar's leaving. And I think... Let's see here. Oh, he's coming out the top. Okay, he's going right there, it looked like. <clears throat> I'm going to wait to hear another one. Yep, he's filling this one first. With tin bar. So I'm going to go ahead and... Just fill that one hopper with... 110 bars to see where the next one goes just to make sure it's working here Okay, he's gonna fill this one now it looks like Oh, that was filling that that conveyor. Okay, this one should just go in there. Yep one I'm gonna fill that one up with a hundred. I'm out of 10 bars here Filling up that right okay, so it should it should work just fine here. I think once that backs up, then this hopper will probably push. Okay, he's already pushing down, down, and into there. So it's not going to be even to, like, do this one first, and then that one, and then this one. And then it'll probably go up. Whatever. I'm totally okay with that. Because, honestly, like I said, I'm just going to come down here, and I'm going to be like, give me some tin. And I hold down Q, and I get it all back. So I got my 274 there that I just put in. This is pretty awesome. I am liking this. Let me know what you guys think, though. Let me know how I can improve it. I'm not going to change this front or that. The back side, you know, this whole system here might be a little bit bulky still. Um, and there's probably a better way I could do the power, but I don't know. I really haven't even thought about it yet, but yes. Okay, I think between episodes, I might... I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. I might get the rest of the smelting systems all set up and ready to go, and then we'll worry about trying to separate the lines next. Maybe get more uh, conveyors, separate conveyors in our hole down there for all the tier one stuff for copper and iron. I, I don't have any iron veins working right now. I gotta get an iron vein working. I did spot one out though. It's like way down there, almost to the uh, tier two stuff. Yeah, lots of stuff. Gotta automate tier two. Gotta do something with this guy. I'm not sure what yet. How, how much? He's still, he's still got plenty of coal. Uh, all right, but then this wall over here, I'll start talking about this probably next episode because we gotta get back in the game of building our research pods here. How are we doing here? I did kick off metal alloys, okay. Yeah, he tore through all the basics. I'll throw some intermediates in there, but the, the XLs are new. I think that's nickel or something. I'm not sure. 
But all these guys, I'm going to have underground research pod laboratories that will have, like, inputs and outputs right, right here in the wall here. I'm really excited about doing that. So much to do still. So much to do. This is looking good, though. I'm really liking how this base turned out here. Loving it. And this smelting system, I think, is really phenomenal. I'm super happy with it. It's got a lot of the features I want. I can see my lines coming up independently. And then I can just get nice storage that fits in nicely with the building. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. That's enough for me today. I'll see you next time. Later.